Can Nego save Nike? To answer that question directly, no. But it does give us something to talk about, preview and analyze before the most unexpected release of 2024. I'm Reggie Casual, let's get it. So as many of you are aware, Nike and Nego are doing a collaboration. And when I first caught wind of it, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really didn't care. I mean, it's interesting to talk about, and I'm supposed to talk about this kind of stuff, being that, you know, Nigo, Japan, he's Japanese, and I talk about Japanese stuff. So yeah, but my issue here is how Nike really took its frankly bad press and slapped the Nigo on the wound to staunch the bleeding and expected us to be like, all is well. I also can't square with the fact that Nike is still in legal hell with vape over sneakers that were essentially brought into existence by the very person they are collaborating with. Make it make sense, please. Make it make sense. We all get that Nigo has nothing to do with Bape today, but still, it's a bit odd to say the least. As many of you already know, uh, recently Nike let go of their bonker CEO, John Donahue, I believe his name is, and he let him walk because he basically presided over the company's biggest profit loss in decades due to a slew of ill-conceived decisions and poorly executed marketing strategies. Not anything more moronic than consolidating Nike under its own roof, essentially abandoning third-party retailers who have been the backbone of Nike's cultural identity since damn near sneaker collection caught on. I mean, John, no disrespect, but I mean any sneakerhead born from 1975 to maybe 1990 could have done a better job, or at least they would have known better. And that's not hyperbolic. I'm 100% sure that most OG diehard Nike heads have a far better idea on what Nike should do than a guy who thought his eBay chops could translate to a Nike business model. Anyway, the Nego thing is Nike attempting, at least in my perspective, to resuscitate itself. Problem is consumers are not fooled and people are far more savvy than they were 10 years ago. But I need to note that before I go further, because what I'm about to say is probably going to piss off some people. So let me preface by saying I love what Nigo has done for the fashion industry. He is a legend. I respect the hell out of him. I wouldn't even be in Japan if it, was for, if it wasn't for Nigo. Seriously, I mean, that the dude that really I mean, he didn't get me started in it, but he's one of the dudes that got me started in all of this. But can we just admit that Nigo has been kinda doing the same thing since he made Human Made? Kinda? I mean, I'm not trying to be harsh, but everything is Human Made, plus whatever brand he's doing a collaboration with or whatever brand he becomes creative director, it's all Human Made. All of it. And I'd be the first to admit, I love consistency. Hell, that's what Japanese fashion is all about. And I understand design language, but even Kenzo is like luxury human made and it's never been that. And this Nike Nigo collab is exactly in the same trajectory as that. So it just, it, it's predictable. That is to say, if you like human made, the collaboration is probably up your alley, but you could have already had it and not with Nigo's name plastered across your chest. Human made is there. And let's not get on the shoes. I'm pretty sure there was a very obvious reason the Air Force Three was chosen. Part, let's not be obvious, part Japanese dude picking the most obscure model that no one really paid attention to in years, part, let's see if this works. What's funny is that the marketing behind this whole Nike Nigo collaboration is actually quite solid. I enjoyed the old school Japanese animation intro to highlight the coming of the release quite a bit. But as my boy Landy at LDN to HK mentioned, is that the ad was actually better than the shoes. And I have to agree. I have to, I have to agree. And that's the whole point. A big part of this is Nike reminding us that they get it that they understand what it takes, what makes them special, and how they keep their ear to the ground. They know who their customers are. But the other part is that the entire fashion industry is in a gated time loop between 1970 and 2010. Nobody's coming up with any creative ideas outside of what's happening between those two time periods, or between that time period which has resulted in less creativity and over-reliance on celebrity influence and old school designers of the past and just boring recycled looks. Remember when Y2K styles were, were back like a year ago or two, or I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, that wasn't that long ago is the point. And apparently that's still happening along with some other stuff. Either way, it makes Nike look either desperate or just late to the party. Neither of which are a good sign, even with the CEO shakeup. And there seems to be so much riding on this. GQ said in their recent article that this sneaker release, the Nego Nike collab in particular, is 2024's most important sneaker release. Look, I understand the game. Gotta have headlines. You gotta get those clicks, but hear me out. Nego's Air Force 3 is not 2024's most important sneaker. It's Nike's most important sneaker, and it may not even be that. However, the writer of that very article states that it's sure to garner some divisive takes, and already has in fact, but Nego didn't become Nego by playing it safe. And if history is any indicator, it won't be long before the shoe's biggest haters are claiming they rode for it from day one. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. I understand where you're coming from. But this ain't 2010 anymore, man. This is the era of sticking to your guns. If people don't F with something, they just don't. And they'll die on that hill. Trust me, they'll die on that hill. If you're on social media at all, people can be dead wrong and they will not admit that they are wrong. Just, you give them facts, they're like, F your facts, bruh. So when you're talking about people not liking the Air Force 3 by Nego, they don't care who Nego is. They're like, I don't care, dog. Those are not cool, I don't like them. I don't like them, I mess with Nego, he cool, but I don't like the sneakers. Sorry, sorry, those are trash. They'll say something like that. I'm not saying they are trash, I'm trying to be objective here. I don't particularly like them. I know there's somebody out there that might like them, but for me, it's gonna be a no for me, dog. But seriously, just take a look at the market. Nike literally lost cash because people aren't as monolithic as they used to be even three years ago. Sure, trends are still rampant, but they're so diverse that you have to pick and choose your favorites. Some are more popular than others, but spaces are more pronounced now, and people can just say, nah, B, and they actually mean it. Now, as far as the collection itself, previews of washed out sweatshirts with the Nego moniker over the Nike logo instead of Nike seem clever enough. The varsity jackets are pretty clean, admittedly. But again, if I were to hypothetically wear this, I feel like I should be a part of the Teriyaki Boys or something. If you don't know who the Teriyaki Boys, just, if you don't know who the Teriyaki Boys are, then you go ahead and just rewind your whole life right now. But seriously, the, the varsities look like I should be chilling with Nego and his crew, as if I'm a part of the Nego crew. I'm not really sure that's gonna bode over well with consumers. I, I don't know, maybe some people like it. Let's not get it twisted though. People wear other people's names on their clothing all the time. So I don't know if people feel some kind of way about that. Like, I ain't gonna wear Nego. Listen, I have no problem wearing Yoji Yamamoto on my clothing, and that happens quite a bit. But the fact remains, Nike and Nego is more of the same, an obvious cash grab. A bit uninspired, but will likely do well despite my misgivings. And that's just from my opinion. But is it cool though? I mean, that's all that really matters. Is it okay, am I gonna look at you on the street like, why are you wearing that Nego thing? I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. And I guess from a fan perspective, it actually is pretty dope. It's definitely a collector's collection, that is for sure at least to me, unless you are a die-hard fan of Nego, unless your name is like uh, Keezy. If you're a Keezy guy, I know Keezy's probably gonna get some Nego stuff. I, I, I see no reason, if you don't know who Keezy is, he's basically Nego's nephew. That, that, I mean, officially, unofficially, I don't know, but I'm almost 100%, I'm not even almost, I'm almost 100% sure he's gonna get something. I'm saying, for a person like him, I see it being more desirable, but if you're looking at it from the perspective of, oh, this is just gonna change Nike forever, this is gonna be a new direction, I don't see that at all. So is Nike Nego gonna save Nike? N no, that, that's not gonna happen. Nike has a lot of work to do, and they have a lot of bridges that they need to rebuild. And, and this collection as kind of meh, as it is in my eyes, it's certainly a step in the right direction because of what Nike is realizing. I believe it is Nike kind of shoring up and saying, all right, all right, we played that game a little bit too strong. We, 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 dealt, we dealt too strong a hand to ourselves and stopped focusing on 
uh, the people that made us who we are. So that's how I feel about it. But my opinion is only one of them. So I need you guys to add to it, whether you agree or disagree with what was said here, put it all in the comments. Or if you have nothing to say in that regard, talk about something, you know, suggest another topic that we should talk about. Further, join us on YouTube or Patreon for benefits and extras. If you can't, it helps us keep this thing going and serves you up bigger and better reviews and insights. Perhaps we'll get some pieces, we don't know but that helps us do that. At the very least, drop a sub, like, turn on notifications if you found this content valuable or entertaining to you, but most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info in international fashion culture and business from Tokyo. It's your boy, and keep it casual. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu, and I will see you guys in a minute.